If you had experience with sets in mathematics, you probably know what is a Venn diagram. Venn diagram shows possible relations between two or more sets. On the left image, we have two sets and the red area indicates intersection of these two sets. In the middle image, the red area indicates the difference of the set A with B, and the right image indicates the union of these two sets. Can we do these basic operations like intersection, difference, and union on JavaScript representations of sets? Yes, we can do, and this can be done in a really simple way. So, let's imagine that we have, uh, let's say, the second set, set 2, which is which has uh, like uh, only one, four, and six. Okay, let's clear these add delete methods. Um, we don't need them. And let's let's try to uh, find the intersection of these two set. When we talk about intersection, this is something uh, a new set. So we need to create a new set. Okay. Um, intersection is new set and then what we do here uh, we need to find all elements which are in set A and in set B also for this um, we need to iterate over set 1 and check if the element is available in set 2 so this can be done for like this for let item of set if um, set two has my item then intersection add item and print my intersection intersection and this is my new set. Uh, which has only uh, 1, 4, and 6. Let's add another element which is not available in uh, set 1. So let's see it. Okay, 1, 4, and 6. This works. Okay, uh, we can do it in, even with shorter code. Well, we know that our set accepts here an array. This array is the, the actual elements uh, which will be the part of the set. Um, can we understand the difference between these two arrays and create new array directly? Well, we can do. So, okay, my array is uh, using uh, using spread operator. I'm going to use it here on my set. And this basically gives me an array, this is similar to writing array from, array from my set and just type my array. These two lines are doing pretty much this similar thing. They are uh, converting my set into an array. So I can convert my set into an array and then call filter method which accepts a uh, callback function uh, and the callback function accepts a uh, single argument which is each entry of the array so let's call it a and uh, we return true or false from this filter function whether the um, element should be included in the final array or not so i'm returning true if this particular element is also available in my set 2 so set 2 has uh, a and this returns true um, if the a is not available in set 2 set 2 here then this returns false and this gives me a new array and I can print this new array before passing it to the constructor of my set and it is I uh, 1 4 and 6 so if I copy this code here and put it in the constructor, this gives me an intersection of these two set. If you don't know what is these three dots uh, or what is this arrow function syntax, you can check my videos about destructuring, uh, spread and rest operators, uh, and also about arrow functions. 
Okay, what about difference? We need to find all elements which are in set 1 and, and not in set 2. Okay, um, let's write difference and then uh, we just need to negate our his uh, statement here. So we need to take all elements from set 1 and if this element is not available in set 2 we return true and my difference let's delete this and my difference will be now the 23.5 this is basically about uh, sets uh, you can find the link uh, for more information about sets in the description of the video um, and I really recommend you to check it out and uh, find out more information there.